Hey guys, welcome back to my page, Cooking with Leander. Today I'm about to make you guys some mussels in the creamy white wine sauce. And we're just gonna go ahead, I'm gonna talk you through all the ingredients. I've got some parsley, some thyme, some bay leaf, some garlic, some onion, and some butter. I'm gonna finish off with some fish stock and some dry white wine. Let's start. I'm gonna start with some chopping my onion. It's really important not to lose this part because this has this keeps the onion together so you must make sure that you keep it i'm going to add some olive oil to the pot a handful of parsley just to give it a rough chop you don't have to make it all fancy once my pan is nice and hot i can add your onion i'm going to throw in some garlic about two teaspoons of garlic I'm going to throw in some thyme sprigs, a few thyme sprigs. One, two, three, four, five. That should be good. I'm going to throw two leaves of bay leaf, a little bit of butter, just about a spoon, and then the roughly chopped parsley. And I'm going to let that cook for a little bit. While this is cooking, I'm going to go grab the mussels and go pick out the right ones from the batch, and I'm going to start cooking. So I'm going to pick out the mussels. Mussels should be sealed, sealed shut like this. And if they are open, you should get rid of them because they're dead. But first check if they're dead by tapping them and seeing if they close. If they start to close, it would mean that the mussels are still alive. So this is not closing, so it's a bad one. This is perfect for our, our dish because it's sealed shut. So in close. And then I'm going to add some fish stock. It's about 200 mils. I'm going to leave that to simmer. Okay, my broth is coming along nicely. Now I'm about to add the mussels, the ones that are shut. These are perfect, and they're going to go in. And then I'm going to add the white wine. This is about 100 mils of dry white wine. Don't need much more. And I'm just going to let that simmer for a bit before adding the cream. We're gonna cook for five more minutes and then I'm gonna add the cream to the pot and then we're nearly done. So now that the mussels are opening up nicely, I'm gonna add some fresh cream to it. Some salt. Some pepper. And then I'm gonna let that simmer for a few more minutes and come together nicely. While the mussels cook, I'm going to grab some of my bread. I'm going to cut it up and toast it. And when, we, when the mussels are done, I'm going to dip it into the mussels and it's going to be a marriage made in heaven. Just some, just some olive oil onto it so that we can get some color. That should be good. And then just leave it in the oven for a few more minutes until it gets some color on it. Mussels are ready and now we're going to start plating. This is the part we've all been waiting for. I'm just going to get the, the good stuff going on. This is, oh my God, they look so good. And they're so fresh. Oh my word. I'm going to remove some of my spices, some of my herbs that I cooked with, because some of them can be hard to chew. And then just remove that out of the way. And then I'm going to add more sauce to the dish so that all that bread that I'm just toasting in the oven is going to soak it all up. Okay, so now I'm going to grab the bread from the oven. I'm sure it's toasted nicely. Perfect. I'm going to garnish this with some parsley. It doesn't have to be perfectly chopped. That can go all over. And that's about it. I really hope you enjoyed my episode today of the creamy mussels in a white wine sauce. Make sure you subscribe to the page because there's so much more to come. I'm about to dig in. I hope that you take this recipe and try it out yourself because I know it's so good. Perfect. Absolutely perfect.